Okay, thank you so much for watching the Sashiko live stitching. This is Atsushi. I will be doing the Sashiko stitching while I talk about Sashiko culture, history, and some mindset if that's the case. Um, I will start the Instagram right now, so please just give me a few moments. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so this is Uichu Dog. Thank you for waiting. This is Sashiko live streaming. Uh, this is Atsushi. I will be doing the Sashiko stitching while I talk about Sashiko. Okay, on the YouTube it should be good. If there's any problem on the YouTube audio stuff, please let me know. Um, if there's anything on the Instagram as well, please let me know. <laughs> Hello, hello. So, this is a quite big piece. So, I will be doing the running, such a running stitch. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's like about two meter, a meter and two meter square. Huh? A meter by two meters. So, it's like 45 inch multiply 90 inches ish so it's really really big one your shop it's quite heavy too I try to talk as much as I can, but I'm super, super, super hungry. I if my might be kind of quiet, and I apologize if I keep quiet. But I will answer the question, um, if it's not already answered by me already. If it's the question answered by, uh, yeah, if the question is already answered, I will try to navigate you to get the answers. But every. If I get a good question about, like a topic, that if I when I receive a good topic about Sashiko, I will try to talk about it too. And if I miss the comments on Instagram, uh, please keep writing so I may be able to pick it up too. Here we go. Borrowed to be scarf that I made last week is going to is going very well. I really like that. I'm e using it every day, so it can be borrowed. Let's say in three years or so. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but it's probably gonna take at least a year or so. And I'm kind of estimating about three years to become the piece I am. I have in my mind. But let's see how long it's gonna take. I will show you that later if you're interested. Let me just finish as much as I can now. I feel a bit better about how long things take 
now, I guess. Yeah, it takes a long time to... And, well, yeah, it takes a long time. At the same time, it's, it's good to enjoy the process too in Sashiko. That's how I feel. But it's, you know, in this world, speed is a very important factor to be successful. And, you know, it is the same in this Sashiko too. The faster you can stitch, the better it is, I guess. At the same time, it's, there is a reason we do such we do hand stitching as well so i don't want anybody to be kind of okay with this slow stitching but no matter how much we try it is the hand stitching so it's not going to be as fast as the machine so it's the, just the balance takes time but if if i stitch one by one on this big piece it's probably gonna take a year i mean for probably a long time probably 10 i don't know how long it's gonna take but i don't think i can do one stitch by one stitch on this so there are technique culture mindset to make this stitching so and uh, this is the it's a cotton fabric that i'm stitching right now it's gonna be a kind of a curtain, curtain, not for the window, more like a door to block this cold wind from the garage. I don't like stitching on the other fabric than cotton. Well, I can, and you know, there's nothing wrong with you stitching on something else, but I usually enjoy stitching on the cotton, and this is the cotton fabric that I found from somewhere. I don't remember where. <laughs> I probably bought it in Japan, I guess. I used it for the displaying cloth at some point, but it got super dirty. And, you know, it's not okay to have a dirty cloth on the display table. So I put it this one somewhere for a long time. Then I just realized that I would need a nice big fabric to block, to make a carton, to block the cold air from the garage to a house. And there we go, this is it. Hello, hello, thank you so much for watching. Privet, 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 Spasiba. Yeah, like slowness, slow, slow is kind of key to enjoy all of this. Slow, slow, slow. Like slow is very good in terms of being mindful, but at the same time, too slow is sometimes a very big obstacle to enjoy the process too. Um, the always I use the analogy of slicing, I mean, cooking. But when we cook, when we slice some vegetable, if we slice too slow, that ruins the whole rhythm of slicing it. I mean, you don't want to slice the onion one by one very, very carefully. And that doesn't really make the dishes better. Same thing goes to sashiko too, or needlework too. Um, it, it, it is slow in comparison to the machine stitching, but at the same time, being slow is not always equal to the best for that. Slow as the mindset is very good, but slow as technique is kind of a secondary. If there's any way to improve it, I think it's better to try to practice. 
at least we sh I at least I think we should be trying to improve it. So for borrow that I made last week, not even that's not even borrow. It's like a borrow two B piece. Um, the most important thing about that borrow to be piece is to use it, not to fix it. So I can do stitching, I can do patching. Those are not that important. It is very important, but not the main, not the core of the process we have to do. The core process of making so-called authentic borrow is to use it, like very much using it severely, heavily. over it over it. and then mend it and fix it and mend it and fix it how will you end your thread on this side there's a many way to end a thread on this side um if you could go to youtube um my channel sashida C no no there's no da sashi sashiko co channel there's a video so called how to not to make a knot and um, that's the video you might want to watch how to and the thread on this side. There's a video explaining how to not to make a knot. I don't make a knot on the sashiko. And there's a reason why we did not, we do not make a knot. And there's a video about, I think there's a video about why we do not make a knot. And there's, there is a video, I, I remember that I made a video about how to not to make a knot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with making a knot, but it is wrong to say that the sashiko requires knot. There's a way to not to make a knot. So, if one person say that they use knot to secure the stitching for sashiko, that's perfectly fine. But I hope they can do the technique that they don't need knot, because there are many people who enjoy sashiko without knot so yeah that's that's the kind of a i think it's a cultural culturally inappropriate if one says that it is okay to make a knot because there are people who s did not make a knot to secure the stitches for purposes and it is a choice to make a knot <laughs> i sometimes make it too but the thing is that if i i hope it's a choice not the excuse that there we go there we go <laughs> there we go that that's how that's what i want to say um it is perfectly fine to choose to not to tag it is perfectly fine to choose to make a knot but i don't want it to be an excuse to not to learn something new Whew, there we go Like for for example, right now I'm not making any knot or any nothing here. It is perfectly fine because I'm gonna make the overlay stitches later on, which I explain how to do it on the YouTube that I shared right now. <clears throat> I hope I'm picking all the questions. I mean, oh, oh, I hope I'm pick. I'm picking, picking. I'm collecting all of the comments from the Instagram. It's kind of difficult to pick up the comments on the Instagram. Sakura. Sakura, yamete, chotto sakura. Sakura, what time is it? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yes, the this is the washable marker that I used. I use the white chalk pencil when I work on the dark fabric, but this since this is hey sorry, it's, if it's moving it's not me, it's Sakura. 
。さくら。ダメやって、ちょそんなカメラ動かすまでダメやって。遊びたいのはわかるけどダメ。Sorry, sorry for the moving. If the camera is moving, it's not me, it's the cat. <laughs> Hope it stops. Sakura, please, please go somewhere. I mean, Sakura is my cat, by the way. And she probably understands Japanese better because I talk to her in Japanese. She says, please, Sakura, yeah, me. Sakura. I think she won't do that. She wants to play with me. Oh, by the way, the cat and Sashiko is the worst combination, so if you. <laughs> I I mean I knew it but we couldn't resist it and I relearn again. It's it's not the best combination. The such I mean the cat nail is very good for the stitches. もう桜、ほんとやめて桜。はいはい。私、like, I probably talked about it last week as well, but I love the sound of this fabric and thread going through together. I will, sh I will sh introduce that sound. So, I sometimes wonder if I should have the background like background music B B Z B Z M. But I often think that the sound of fabric is also kind of important part of the the sound the sound. My cat was just powing at my screen trying to attack your stitching. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Like cats need the thread, needle, something. I don't know about those things, but they love it. Don't don't let your cat play with the thread. It's gonna be a one expensive cotton thread ball. I've done that and I'm very careful about it. Like, I don't know, but like this probably movement, hand movement is something very systematic or rhythmical. So they think it's some kind of animal, or some insect or some something going on there. I use the just washable mar marker to mark the thread. Oh, 
the cry okay okay that's good that's good now she's gone so it's gonna be easier not easier it's like just a second okay I may have made a mistake Ah, it's getting so heavy. I think the kind of core of Sashiko stitching is this running stitch. I mean, it is perfectly fine to do one stitch by one stitch, but if it's the matter of this big piece, I don't think I can do one stitch by one stitch. I mean, I don't want to spend more than a month or more than a few weeks to stitch through this one. Um, I think I can do it within, let's say, how many hours do I need? Probably less than 10 hours to complete this much if I really focus on that. Probably a little more than 10 hours. But this is this can be a weekend job. Weekend work. And it is perfectly fine to spend like slow that's gonna I'm sorry, that's gonna relate to the slowness I was talking about. It is good to enjoy the slowness, but at the same time it is good to enjoy the speed in the slow stitching too. So I teach how to improve your stitching with in terms of speed and interestingly when we get into the speed when we get into the rhythm the stitches will be even automatically so i do not try to make even stitches even because i don't want to spend so much attention on each stitch but when we stitch in the, in the s even rhythm then the stitches will be even too What will I use these finished pieces for? This is going to be a carton to block the uh, cold air from the garage. The size is about 1 meter, one meter multiply 2 meters rectangle shape, which is 45 inch and 90 inch square. So it's going to be a rectangle. It is just a piece of fabric to block the cold air from the garage to my house, inside of my house. Winter is coming, oh, it's so scary. Not as scary, but it's so sad. I mean, I prefer winter than summer, but at the same time, it's the, I, the coldness is kind of, you know. Cold is cold. <laughs> and our house is kind of old, so... It's not too old, but it's not that new, so the installation is not that great. I mean, we could. It can be much, much better if I could invest some money into the doors and installation. But it's not that great, so I, as the alternative, I used a lot of fabric to block the cold air to come into the house or in the you know, hallway. Not a hallway, in the doors. So this is one of those. And I want to make as thick as possible to block the air. And this is one process of making the fabric thicker. And it's gonna be thick and durable. The worst thing I can think is that the Sakura, the cat, might jump on this and it's gonna break it. Which is okay, which is okay, I don't mind. 
uh, broken fabric because I can always fix it. Yeah, I starting the live streaming today in the morning, and this is the I I started this tab like in the morning. So in two hours or so, I s almost finished all the horizontal line, which is the first step. Usually, it's the first step. Or not a usually. In many cases, not in many cases. It's one sample of the first step. Yep, one more, and then I don't know if I should do it. Like this. It's so heavy. I believe that Japanese people, like the long, long, long time ago, few hundred, not a few hundred years, well, probably a few hundred years ago, they were doing the sashiko stitching on this kind of brick fabric too with the patching that's what we can find as a borrow into this museum when patching a denim when patching there's a question on the instagram and on youtube when patching my denim i can make the stitches run neatly nearly con Continuously, like you, it has big gap no matter how hard I try to minimize it. Maybe it's because it is the two layers of denim. It is, it is because of the two layers of denim. At the same time, probably it is because how you use the thimble. If you learn how to use the thimble, two layers of denim is not that impossible to make running stitch. Three layers, it's kind of difficult. Four layers, it's impossible. So if when I patches the belt area of the denim I cannot do the running stitch but if the matter of two layers of denim it is okay it is possible to do the running stitch which I have done already and probably if you go back to few weeks a few weeks a few weeks of live streaming I have done that already two layers of running stitch it was even worse because that was the raw denim plus sort of the cotton car cargo pants so it was much much more dense but it was possible it's, it is possible one, once you learn the sashiko I mean the this running stitch method and how to use the thimble ouch do, do, do. And the question on the Instagram, what what makes sashiko thread ideal for sashiko stitching? Uh, there's a video about that. On, uh, this is very important. Like sashiko thread matters. Some people say that um, any thread is good for sashiko thread, but sashiko thread does matter. That that makes a big, big, big difference. If one, if you think that a sashiko stitching is not even, doesn't look like mine. It's probably because of your I mean, thread. I would recommend you wondering your thread first. And the difference is very... Uh, it's designed for the sashiko stitching. And I have a video explaining what is the difference between sashiko thread and the other thread. So if you could go to the YouTube. Uh, sashiko? Sashi, sashi CO channel. I have a video explaining what is the... Why do we call it sashiko thread? There's a reason we call it sashiko thread and you know when the sashiko became a pretty big trend or boom or popular many com there are some companies who started making sashiko thread and there's nothing wrong with using that, but I do not some I do not like some of the some of the makers even if it's the sashiko thread. 
Uh, that's pretty much from my experience. So it's just you know, it since it's from my experience, it is from it is my preference. But many people agree with me. So I sell the thread only the thread I use for my product. Uh, those are on my website upcyclestitches.com or I mean, every links are available from my profile. If you're watching the Instagram, every pro ah, the links are available from the profile. If you're watching the YouTube, I will paste the link as well. But sometimes you can probably go to my profile or about page and then you can get all the links. Um, I, st I started using proper Sashiko thread. Yes, yes, so Sashiko thread is very important and among the Sashiko thread there is a, <laughs> you know, there's a big difference between Sashiko thread and the other thread, like embroidery frost is completely different from Sashiko thread, but there are of, of course difference between the manufacturers as well. Uh, some Sashiko thread is good for some Sashiko stitches, some, there's a preference. But based on our long experience, I strongly recommend using the one I'm using right now. It, it's just, I mean, you're gonna spend, we're gonna spend a lot of time in this. If it's the matter of a few hours of stitching, well, you know, you may be able to use any thread. But since I'm gonna spend so much time in this one piece, I wanna have a good result. And, you know. The thread will make a big difference. That's one thing I can say. Thread will make a big difference. And if you're using non sashiko thread, I hope you can try this. Not a hope, I want you to try the sashiko thread first. And if you're using the sashiko thread, then I hope you can try ours in the future too. At the same time, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with using non sashiko thread in sashiko thread. I just don't want them to say it is okay to use it. It is not okay. I mean, it is okay as long as they know the difference. But some people say that it is okay to use any thread in sashiko stitching. It is okay, but do they know the difference? I don't know. If they know the difference and then they say it's okay to use any thread, that's perfectly fine. Or if they try to understand the difference and then they say it's okay to use the thread, any thread, that's also okay. Or if they live in somewhere very far from Japan or US that they cannot get the thread and then they try to learn the difference and then if they say this okay, it is okay to substitute this Sashiko thread with something, that's Another, uh, that's another story. That's okay, but without learning, although they have uh, access to the actual Sashiko thread, saying whatever is fine is very... not even wrong, it's kind of sad. It's changing the culture. Because there are many reasons that we, the Japanese, our ancestors made this thread. And by saying whatever, they're kind of destroying that wisdom. How do I stitch the intersection if it is double-sided? That's what I'm doing right now. We don't care. We don't. We do care, but we do stitch. <laughs> we stitch through. That's how we do the intersection. I hear that some say Sashiko literally translate as little stab. I am starting to see why as I keep stabbing myself with the little... Um, personally, I do not agree with the little stab. <laughs> I know, like, even the Wikipedia says that Sashiko literally means the little stabs. I kind of do not agree with that. I have a different insight. That's the mistranslation of those people who did not about Japanese culture much. I mean, 
it's kind of how do you say that? it's like a indirect translation without with a lack of a little bit of lack of understanding of what sashiko is so i i don't know if i shared that post in public i remember that i shared on the patreon because that's the place i can share my honest opinion i don't know but i have a different kind of not a theory different idea about what is really really mean sashiko and uh, which is not little stops i don't think it's little stop hey sakura ah just wait sakura wait just wait that's not good sakura <laughs> I, I missed the joke. Stabbing yourself is the thing. Yeah, it's, it's the reason I didn't pick that joke is that that's a. <laughs> I I kind of knew that it was a joke, but how can I say that? Um. It is, not, it is not a sensitive subject. It's more like a... Yes, the people stab these fingers a lot. Well, not a lot. In the, in the, sashiko, like in the pra practice of sashiko stitching, yes, people will probably stab their fingers. But for Japanese, it's a very much a sign of shame. So, and the sense of shame is very important to understand what Sashiko is. In my, this is my opinion, but so I just didn't want to make fun of it as a joke. Does it make sense? I mean, I, I'm not really, I don't really know you, so I shouldn't really go around it, but I just didn't want to make it as a joke because stabbing oneself is the... It's kind of a sign of unskillness, right? I mean, I don't think many masters stub their fingers. And making a joke out of it will enhance the shameness, which is kind of... A, for that matter, it's probably a sensitive issues. So, that that's the reason. That's the reason behind it. And the, the little stub, I don't know who translate that. I don't think there's any documents or any authors about it, but that's the very one reason that I did not want to pick that. I kind of pretended, pretended that it was not a joke. Yeah, I understand. I understand. There's nothing wrong with making fun of everything. I, it's It's a very good way to be happy. I mean, I love joke, I love comedy, so one of my goals to make this live session is, well, let's say previous, I used to try to make the live session as fun as possible, and it is one way to make a, a good comedy, to make fun of things we do. It's just... Mm, it's probably too core to talk about. Shameness is one of the very core topic in Sashiko as well. So I just couldn't resist. It's, it's, it's not your problem, it's my problem. It's completely my personal shenanigan. There we go. That's probably the word to use, shenanigans. Oh, oops. I hope you didn't take it offensive. Wait, wait, wait. I did not see the comments screen. Just a second, okay? There we go.
Yeah, yeah, like I understand you the beginning. Like there's nothing wrong. There's nothing nothing wrong with stitching your fingers. It's the learning process. Sorry, for the question about intersection, many books, many tutorials says that you have to cross the stitches that way, it has to be that side, blah, 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 blah. Like, there are many, many, many rules if I learn from the textbook or books or tutorial, like, not a tutorial, like the brochure in the kit. Um, I do not think there's any rules in Sashiko. So, Sashiko is very ordinary for us, for the Japanese people. So, there are many ways, many techniques to make Sashiko stitching better. But at the same time, there is no such a thing as rule. Um, those rules are based on the result how to make the result so beautiful. That's why they want to make a lot of should and should, ha sh should and should not. So one of the example probably is that you have to open the center of Asanoha so that you can look, you know, the looks will be great. Even, sure, you can do that, but at the same time, that ignores the fact that the backside will be messy. But the sashiko was developed, sashiko, people developed sashiko to make fabric more stronger, more like a reversible. So what is that? What is, the, how do we do that? Um, the answer is we don't really care about the center itself because that's the part of the, re like we focus on the process, not the result much. If we make a good even stitch in a good rhythm, the result will be good even with ignoring some of the rules that you might know. So it's very much like ordinary is the key word again here. I use this example a lot, but when we slice the onion, do we care how much, how thick the slice should be? Like, do you measure that? Okay, each slice has to be zero one one point inch or one millimeter. Uh, we mark it every single slice and then we cut it straight. You have to enter the knife vertically 90 degrees, otherwise it's not gonna cut well. Uh, that's the sashiko I kind of see on the book or in the tutorials. Yeah, you might get a nice onion slice, but that's not ordinary. That's not... It's so stressful to me. So when I stitch, I really don't care about this even stitch. The size of stitches are decided by the pretty much fabric and project. If you want to make it smaller, that's fine. If I want to make it bigger, that's fine too. Just there's no ideal size of stitches. Or Some people say there should be six stitches in between those lines. Well, sure, you can do that. But do you really want to? In time, I will show up often enough that you get to know me a little. Sure, sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Yes, that, that's how we kind of connect each other. And I love how you have to trust to the process in your way of teach. Teach Sashiko. I love how you have to trust the process. Yes, the process is the... Like, Process, process, process. I mean, we focus on the result in this society a lot. But if you, if we, if we want to just focus on the result, why don't you use the machine? Why don't you use a computerized machine? Like, they will make perfect stitches for you. Like, right? I mean, that, that's my point. You don't have to make a fabric that much stronger. If you want to use whatever, whatever thread you want to use, 
And if you want to make the perfect, beautiful, embroidery looking sashiko patterns, why don't they use the machine or why don't they use sewing machine? This is the reason we enjoy hand stitching. And that's what I think we should kind of learn each other. Thank you. That, that was helpful. Thank you so much for saying that. Another thing is that I don't want to be like a mean grandma or grandpa here, but thank you so much for saying thank you. Please, like if you, I don't mind getting question. Like, you know, some of you are here for the first time. You're here for a long time, but you know, I receive pretty much the same question every time I'm on, on the live streaming. I am okay to answer the question, the same question over and over again. I sometimes navigate you to the answers, but no matter what you do, no matter what you say, if you get an answer, say something or show something. Don't ignore that. That's, that's, you know, I'll, I'll be honest about that. So thank you so much for asking the question. And thank you so much for saying thank you. That, that, that's the whole point. I want to make this place as more like a, you know, human like i'm not a google i'm not a search engine that you type the question and get an answer from i'm not alexa there we go i'm not alexa well my my even my daughter say thank you alexa for that <laughs> she actually say thank you to alexa that was i was so proud of her it was so cute and i was so proud of her that too she asked something to Alexa. I think that was the population of Japan. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the question. But she answered. Alexa answered that, and she said, "Thank you, Alexa." Like, wow. There we go. There we go. Well, I forget. I sometimes forget to say thank you to Alexa too. Anyway, so the when I do the this intersection here, let's say intersection here, I really do not pay it. Ah, that, it's not here. There we go. Do you see that? When I do the intersection here, anywhere for that matter, on the Asanoha patterns, there are a lot of intersection. Do I care each section that I have to open the center? Not really. I can adjust the stitches rhythm to have the center open, but that's very much optional and I sort of I, I want to use both sides as the, well, not this one, not this one. I'm not going to use this one as the both side as the finish side. But if I want to use the both side as the finish side, I can use that as well. I am watching all of your live streaming from the beginning to avoid double questions. Thank you for building such a great resources. It is my pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. But isn't it kind of painful to watch my live streaming? Like, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better equipment. It's an investment. Like, I have to do a lot of investment for the better live streaming. But <laughs> I think the live streaming a year ago, or even two years ago, live streaming, that's probably... <laughs> that's a night. Well, I don't delete it because there's sometimes good information there, but... It's bad. <laughs> Some of the live streaming was really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting better. I mean, I'm not getting better. I'm getting better equipment. Better mic, better camera, better computer. Like, every time I have a little bit of resource, I now spend money on that. I cannot believe I used to do the live streaming from iPhone 5S. I know, I, I know it's 2020 and the iPhone is now like, what, 12 or whatever it is. I, I, I'm not using iPhone anymore. Um, I'm the Android now, but I was, two, three years ago, I was using the iPhone 5S to do the live streaming. Wow. Without no mic, without no mic, without anything.
You push the camera setup very well. It's like we have your pub. Yes, yes, point of view. Yes, yes, I tried my best. I'm trying my best. I say your handwork and the fashion trend forever. <laughs> I saw my handwork in the fashion trend focused. Really? My my work? Or Sashiko itself? What? <laughs> what is WGSN? What? What? World? No. <laughs> D don't let me guess. WGSN. I don't know that. I know. The English is my second language. LOL. Took, it took forever to understand what LOL means. Literally, I couldn't understand. Like or love? Like what? What is that? Like love out loud was very difficult to understand. Spring, summer. Okay, I will. I will search that. W. What? Do I know that? Should I? Shouldn't I know that? Just a second. Okay. Where is my pen? Fashion trend. I mean, it's perfectly fine that they use my stuff, but I would like to have some credit or something. Fashion trend forecast. I mean, I probably should Google it, but just in case, if you don't mind answering, what is WGSN? You are not opening clinkly plastic bags on camera anymore. <laughs> Ay ay. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when I started doing the live live streaming, I was a stay at home father. Almost full time. No, that that's the time I kind of still losing my mind, as a stay at home father. She was about becoming three, and then we decided to send her to daycare because I was literally losing my mind I probably was not doing the business I was not doing anything actually back then yeah I was not doing anything so simply I didn't have money I didn't have capital or even like I didn't have money to buy something new I even quit smoking because of that well that's a long time ago but Anyway, so, you know, little by little, I get things. That, there we go. So, your support on the Patreon or my website is not gonna go somewhere for my... It's not gonna go by my belly. I don't really eat much expensive things in the US. I would love to eat something expensive in Japan, but I really don't like eating out in the US, so it's not gonna go to my belly, it's just gonna go to something that I can use for the better result. The things I want... Well, I, I really, really would appreciate to have the studio for myself one day. This is my studio here, and Sashiko doesn't really require a studio. But it would be really good to have a place that I can display what I make or, you know, show it without showing some of my messy... <laughs> like, you know, there's a switch, the switch for my daughter. I don't want to display my ball jacket right next to the switch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, hello, WGSN. What is the WGSN? Just let me Google it. Sorry, I'm gonna just Google a little bit. WGSN fashion. Oh, it's the it's the company which trend which ex which focus the trend. I didn't know the company. Thank you so much. Uh, spring. Is this Sashiko or me? I think it's just Sashiko, right? No? Uh, 
Okay. Spring, summer. Fashion trendsetter. That's probably not it. Color of the year. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll Google. I'll, I'll look into that. Just, just one more, one more word. Sorry. I know it's not a best thing to do though right now. The reason I'm kind of saying that is I did not know that. Which means they're using my photo without telling me? That's kind of... It's good. I mean, it's good to be featured with them, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll search. If, if you know the link or photos that it... Oh, did I... 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 I may be on one of the magazine sometimes next year because I agreed to provide my photo to them. But that's about it, I guess. <laughs> New York Times was a long time ago. New York Times magazine was a long time ago. And I said, okay, I said yes. Mm -mm. At the same time, well, that's the that's the internet, right? Like you know, we cannot control it. So please feel free to repost my post and repost my photos if you want to. Just don't claim that it's yours. Please, um, you know, cite my account, website, my name, whatever. Just don't don't claim it that's yours. I mean, we do not give up the copyright yet. I don't know how to co how to give up the copyright, but I don't claim I don't claim any copyright for the patterns. I don't claim anything. Like you can copy whatever I'm doing right now. You can just copy it. You can even sell it if you want to. I'm not gonna say like you know it's my thing. It's not mine. It's the public with them. It's the public domain, the wisdom from the Japanese people, so you can do whatever you want with it. But just please... Um, how can I say this? Respect the... I, I, the uh, respect to the people who make it would be really helpful to keep the culture alive. I see sometimes on the Facebook that people are scanning the book and upload it as a PDF. That is not only violation of the copyrights but also not supporting the author and once the author stopped writing that's kind of sad right so oh that's awesome they wrote your account as the preference for the fashion design student that's awesome thank you so much so you do know the <laughs> so it was my account okay 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 i'll i'll google and that's exactly what I was saying. Like, as long as they list my account or my name, I'm okay for the copyright. So, if they list it, that's perfectly fine. Thank you. Well, I mean, a little comment or note would be very kind, but, well, it's good. It's now the world we live in. Okay, I think, wow, I have been doing that for more than one hour, almost one hour. Okay, I will stop soon. I will show you the whole picture of this piece. That's what I'm doing right now. It's just the, it's not just, it's the carton. It's the wind blocker from the garage door to my room. Not a room, my house. And so my friend, it's it's a little off topic. My friend was about to throw away his family's denim. Um, not a throw. Well, it was kind of dirty and also not a good shape. So he was either wa wondering if he should drop off those boxes or throw it away. Uh, he asked me if I would like to use it for my project. Yes, I think I get only one hour on the Instagram, so I'm going to shut it down. 
So you can, if it shut down, you can come to the YouTube. But I got a lot of denim, and then I cut the pieces for my project for the future. But then I just realized that I cannot use those belt area for my project, and I was wondering. I was uh, I was wondering if I could use that, and this is the things I'm using it. I patched it. I I don't think I can do sashiko on this. The difference between sashiko and boro. Please go to my website or YouTube. I explained that there. All right, I have to probably go off. Um, this video should be left on the account, but if not, please visit the YouTube, which is. Sashi, this is the same account, sashiko, sashi.co, there's no dot. The, there will be a video on YouTube for sure. Alright, um, I explained that over. I will probably shut off the Instagram first, and then YouTube should be a little left. Alright, have a good weekend. Bye bye. He! Chotomate! Ah, not here. I don't, that, that, I, am I doing okay? No. Ah, do, do, do. Probably good. I will stop the YouTube soon, but I will show you the whole project. It October. Just a second, I'm sorry. Sashiko live streaming of is today October twenty third June. Okay. All right, Asha. So what I'm making right now is the. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just summarize it again, and then I will finish this live streaming. I was, I am making a big, big, heavy curtain to block the cold air from the garage to my house. And I, this is the leftover of denim that I was kind of trimming for my another project, which I haven't even started yet. And then I just realized that this is going to be a waste and I don't want to make a waste. I could have made a bag out of it, but you know, I don't have that much good machine, sewing machine. So I decided to patch it was a bad idea. I cannot do the sashiko on this. It's too thick. So there we go. Anyway, uh, I have a lot of free space on top. So I'm just doing the sashiko stitching to make the fabric as... try to make as thick as I can. So the... it won't be weird. <laughs> But that's what's going on right now. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I will come back next week, next Friday. I hope you have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Arigatou gozaimashita. Oyasumi nasai. Bye bye.